System Identification Toolbox lets you import time and frequency domain test data from MATLAB workspace. To import time domain data, you can select Time Domain Data option and specify the names of input and output signals from your system. In this case, the signals are named U and Y and we'll keep the dataset name My Data and we'll specify the starting time, the sampling interval, and the channel names. Power for the input signal and temperature for the output signal. We'll then import this dataset in. Now if you want to check that this dataset is good for estimating the data, you can bring it back to MATLAB workspace and run command advice on this dataset. This command checks various things about this dataset and provides us warnings and recommendations about how we can use this dataset. For example, it analyzes the excitation level in the data and based on the results of the analysis, it's warning us that we are not going to be able to estimate models of order higher than 50 using this dataset. When we bring the dataset in like that, System Identification Toolbox creates a special data object for representing the data. Alternatively, we could create a data object like that right in the MATLAB using command ID data. In that case, we could import datasets as data objects. And in this case, I already pre-created two data objects, one in time domain, data t. You can see the properties of this data object here. And I have specified additional properties as well. Let's bring this data set in. And another data set I created from frequency domain data. You can see the properties here, and we can bring this data set in as well. As you can see, when we bring data sets in, they are stored in this area of the tool. Now we can start using these data sets for estimating and validating our models. We first need to decide which data set we are going to use for estimating the model. We select the data set and drop it into the working data area. Similarly, we can specify a data set we want to use for validating the results of the estimation. If a particular data set is no longer needed, we can always delete it by placing it into the trash bin. System Identification Toolbox lets us check the content of our data sets by selecting the data set or multiple data sets that we want to look at and selecting the appropriate plot. Here we are looking at the time plot of our time domain data set and we are looking at two signals input signal power and output signal temperature. Similarly, we can select the frequency domain data set data F and look at the data spectra plot or at the frequency function plot. This concludes the demo.